Hi there, this is GCC Physics, and this is Energy Lesson 1, Energy Transfers. So we're going to recall the nine types of energy, describe some simple energy transfers, and recite the conservation of energy, and explain a pendulum oscillation in terms of energy transfers. So, let's move on. Energy. Energy is required to do work. So, for example, fuels are burnt to release energy. And you also need to know that the sun is the ultimate source of most of our energy on Earth. Remember to pause at any point to make any, uh, any notes that you wish to make. Conservation of energy, this is really important. So energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. Or another form. An interesting thing, the conservation of energy also means that the total energy in the universe stays constant. That just means that over time, because obviously the universe is expanding, the energy will become more diluted. So we can't create energy, we can't destroy it. It's just converted from, from one type of energy into another type. So there's nine types of energy. I want you to pause and see if you can list any of them. So you can use these images to help you. And then I'll take you through them. So some forms of energy, so you can check your list. So energy can exist in many forms. So the first one, thermal or heat energy. This is the energy of an object due to its temperature. Light energy. This is the energy in the form of visible electromagnetic radiation. This bit, the electromagnetic radiation... We will come across when we do waves, or you might have come across that at school already. Electrical energy. So this is the energy transferred by an electric current. Here's an example of lightning. Sound energy. This is energy in the form of a sound wave. Kinetic energy. This is the energy possessed by a moving object. Kinetic energy increases. That should be as. As the object speed is increased. Uh, it can also be called movement energy. But for an examination, and in physics, we'll call it kinetic energy. Chemical energy. This is energy that is released when chemical reactions take place. Source of energy, or chemical energy, include fuel, food, and batteries so uh, chemical energy chemical potential energy stores so chemical energy remember we can use the word potential as the energy is stored inside it nuclear energy this is energy that is released when nuclear reactions take place uh, one of the types of nuclear reaction is called nuclear fusion that's the source of the sun's energy. And there's a nuclear bomb. Hopefully you'll never see one of those. Well, not in real life anyway. So eight and nine. Oh, I broke my PowerPoint there. So potential energy. Let me just put all that on. So potential energy. This is the energy possessed by an object due to its position. So gravitational potential energy, the gravitational potential energy of an object increases if it's raised upwards. So if you were one of these people and you jumped out of a plane, you would have gained gravitational potential energy as you were lifted or flown into the sky. And as you jump down, the gravitational potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. You'd also get some thermal energy as well as the, as the air well, hits you. You know, there would be some warming up and there would also be some sound energy as well. Elastic potential energy. This is the energy stored in a stretched or squashed object. It's also known as strain energy. Okay, let's move on. Energy measurement. Energy is measured in joules. It doesn't matter what type of energy it is. It's measured in joules. So if you were to lift an apple upwards by one meter requires about one joule of energy. So that's just to give you some kind of perspective. So if you grab an apple, move it up a meter, really easy to do. Uh, you come, yeah, it's about one joule of energy. And it would gain, obviously, as you lift it up, it would gain gravitational potential energy. Just a few things. So one kilojoule, K, just means a thousand. 
megajoule, capital M, means a million. Hopefully you'll already know that. Alright, so uh, I want you to try and guess, let's pause, I want you to try and guess, you know, what these are. So, 4,200 joules, 4.2 kilo. By the way, if you, if you guess any, I'll be very impressed. So, 4.2 kilojoules is one food calorie. Uh, calories are an interesting thing because you you probably think that you have two thousand calories a day, but you don't. You have you have two thousand kcal. Uh, and if you don't believe me, grab uh, grab some food down to you. It could be anything. Uh, look up the calories, and it'll actually say kcal. Million joules and a megajoule, energy of a Mars bar. Like literally, one Mars bar is a million joules of energy. What about 0 0.00002 joules? If you get this one, you deserve a Nobel Prize. That is the energy needed to produce a syllable of a word. I've got no idea how they calculated that, but allegedly so. And then we've got this one. 15 with 3, 6, 9, 12. Can't even count that I. Several zeros. And that's the energy received by the Earth from the Sun in one day. And that's a lot of Mars bars. Alright, let's look at a pendulum oscillation. So there's a pendulum. So as you lift it up, a pendulum basically, you know, if you've got a fixed point, a piece of string or a wire with a, you know, a ball on the end, a piece of plasticine, could be a clock mechanism. But the you could be asked to describe the energy transfers between potential gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. So let's have a look. So when you lift it up to its you know its max, it's called its amplitude. But when you lift it up, you know its gravitational potential energy will be a maximum, and its kinetic energy will be zero. And then when you let it go, obviously as it moves to the center, the energies will will swap round. So the kinetic energy as it reaches that position will be at a maximum, and its gravitational potential energy will be at a minimum. Then what happens when it goes to the other end? Well, as you probably guessed, they switch around, so your gravitational potential energy will become a maximum. Kinetic energy, as it stops to turn around, will become zero, because obviously kinetic energy is movement energy. Back down, so gravitational potential energy again will become a minimum, kinetic energy a maximum, and so on. However, at all points in time, the total energy, so the gravitational potential energy plus the kinetic, remains the same if there is no significant resistive forces. Obviously, in real life, there would be resistance, and if you set a pendulum going, eventually it would, you know, the, the swings would, would reduce and then finally stop. But it's a good example of energy transfer, so it's just a constant transfer of gravitational into kinetic and kinetic back into gravitational and then repeating. Energy flow diagrams. So we're just going to do a few questions now. So the diagrams aren't special, it's just what I'll use to test you. So you've got uh, some kind of input energy, you've got a device causing energy change. Out to the right, we're gonna have useful output energy. And at the bottom, we're gonna have wasted energy. This will make sense when we uh, do some examples. So first one, an electric light bulb. So what goes in? What type of energy goes into an electric light bulb? Yep, electrical energy. So what's useful? What do we want a light bulb to do? We want it to give out light energy. And what do light bulbs do that we don't necessarily want them to do? What energy do they waste? Heat energy. So what I'm going to do is give you some more examples and I just want you to pause and then write the energies. So here we go, microphone. We have to think about what energy goes in, what's useful, and what's wasted. So we've got to pause. Okay, let's go. So input energy is sound. So you speak into a microphone. The useful energy, the sound, is converted into electrical energy, and the wasted energy is heat energy. You'll find most of the time that most waste energies are heat or sound, but mainly heat. Okay, let's move on. So about a car engine. This is my car. That's obviously a lie. I'm a teacher. 
can't afford an F1 car. Chemical energy. So chemical energy goes in, that's from the fuel, or chemical potential energy. But remember that potential just means stored. Useful thing for a car, obviously kinetic energy, I want it to move. And wasted heat and sound energy. Although some people might argue that the sound energy is not wasted because some car enthusiasts want a car to make noise. One of the beauties of F1, especially many years ago, was the sound that the cars made. Let's move on. Well, this one, photosynthesis. So this is from biology. Let's pause and have a go at this one. So it's light energy that goes in. So what useful energy do we get? Chemical energy or chemical potential energy stored in the leaves and used for photosynthesis. What about wasted energy then? So that's just heat energy or thermal. Okay, so next I've got a table for you to do. Complete the table below. So we've got a device. And I'm going to fill the blanks in. And then I'll take you through the answers. So the first one. Device, electrical motor, input energy, electrical, main output, kinetic. Device, car brakes, input energy, kinetic. Main output energy, heat. What about this one then? So we've got gravitational and kinetic. That'll be a falling object. Next one, candle, input energy. So that's chemical or chem more or should be chemical potential energy that's stored within the candle wax. Main output energy will be light. Generator, input energy. Kinetic. You might not get that one, or you might have said chemical potential for the fuel that you put in some generators to produce electricity. If you put chemical, that's also okay, but you'll learn about how generators work at some other time. Right, let's finish this then. If you want to pause and have a go. If you want the keywords, I'm going to put them on in a second. And then let's go through the answers. So energy is required to do work. Energy is measured in joules. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can only change form. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by moving bodies. When an object is lifted up, it gains gravitational potential energy. Heat or thermal energy is often produced as a wasted energy form. So that was the introduction to energy. Hopefully that went okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.